My name is Reverend Stephen Ruzaza. I'm blessed this morning to share with you the word of God. Let us pray. Lord our Father, we want to bless your name. We thank you for your great love to us. The love that was demonstrated by allowing your dear son, only son, Jesus Christ, to come and take on the human form in order to save us. We praise you, Lord, for those who believe in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that dear Lord, use me for your glory as I speak to your people through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. The theme that I was given is to us a child is born. As it is recorded in the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. And this is what it says. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. 740 years before the event was to take place, the prophet Isaiah looked by the Spirit down through the centuries to a momentous night in the Abosua Ritro village of Bethlehem as we are celebrating in this Christmas season. This little boy was born in the tribe of Judah, the descendant of King David. This child is called Joshua in Hebrew or in Greek Jesus and Joshua in Hebrew it means Yahweh is salvation. A son is given. God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have. We believe in this son that was given to us. Do you believe in him who is the author of our salvation? But who is this child that is born to us? Who is this child that was given to us? Who is this Jesus? He is God coming to us in human form. Who is our salvation? This Christmas season, the question to meditate on is this, is Jesus your Savior. Joshua, Yahweh is our salvation. And we are told that the government will be upon his shoulders. He has the authority to govern his people with the truth and the justice. For Christ is the source of true justice. And he will be a wonderful counselor. For his counsel is very perfect. When faced with different challenges, when faced with different situations, who do you go to? Run to Jesus Christ, this son, Emmanuel, God with us, for he will give you a perfect and a wonderful counsel that is dependable, that is reliable. Mighty God, he does mighty things that you cannot imagine of. He is our healer. He is our deliverer. Mighty to save, mighty to heal. Mighty to do wonderful things, to change situations that are so difficult for us. He will be called a mighty God. And to those who have believed in him, 
they have a testimony of the mighty things that he has done. An everlasting Father. In him we are able to say our Father in heaven. He is our love, everlasting Father. We are able to say Abba Father in Jesus Christ. Prince of Peace. The heavenly peace. Shalom. The peace that the world does not give. The peace that surpasses our human understanding. Do you have that peace that comes from the throne of glory? He is the author of peace. If you are peaceless, you are anxious, you look left and right and have no peace. Run to him, for he is the Prince of Peace. I want to thank God for, in 1982, I gave my life to this Jesus, my Savior. And ever since that time, He has given me peace. Wonderful peace. It's my prayer and wish that in this season, you have the peace that emanates from Jesus Christ. Shalom. The heavenly peace. Peace, perfect peace. It's my prayer that you will embrace this wonderful counselor. He is a wonderful counselor. He does mighty things. And for sure, when you believe in him, he will do wonderful things to us. Shall we pray? Lord our Father, we want to praise your name. We want to thank you for all that you've done to us. And we pray that Lord in this season, you give us peace, you be our wonderful counselor, and shall we move in that salvation and hope that you offered at Calvary. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. And the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and forevermore.